Have you ever heard of the word alacrity? A-L-A-C-R-I-T-Y, alacrity. That's what we're going to talk about today. I'm Dr. Michael Smith. This is my Naturepreneur vlog where I share my experience as a provider starting my own business, what it means to start my own practice and reflections on that. Um, I've been thinking about, I think the last um, Naturepreneur vlog was about the roller coaster of starting a practice and it's continued to do that. And I recorded that a few weeks ago and um and i think the thing that stood out to me lately is the is the term alacrity i first learned about the word alacrity when i was interviewing for naturopathic medical school i was interviewing at nunm the national university of natural medicine on february 1st of 2019 so this was a good five years ago now and when I was interviewing, the president of NUNM then was Dr. David Schleich, who I um, ad uh, very much admire, and I think he's great. Um, he taught me about the word alacrity. And during our interview, he, or at least during the first part of it, getting to know um, who is who, he came in and spoke about alacrity and talked about that alacrity means embraces the idea of a cheerful readiness and willingness. Um, and I feel like alacrity has in some ways become a theme of my journey in into medicine, through medicine. Um, I was in New York City trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life after I finished my master's degree there. I knew that I wanted to do medicine, or at least I was interested in it, but I just didn't maybe know how. And it was in that process I remembered my interactions with a naturopathic medical doctor um, during when I was an undergrad student, um, that it was positive and I loved doing it and I loved being there. So I, um, I, I pursued it. I was willing and able to move literally me and my family, my, my, my wife and two kids from New York City, um, uptown Manhattan, all the way across the country to Portland, Oregon. And we had the most amazing time during medical school. It was hard. It was a roller coaster. It was up and down. It was during COVID. Um, but I think there's this cheerful willingness and readiness just to embrace it. Um, while I was in, uh, while I was at NUNM, the elections for student government association were coming around and I just felt like I needed my first year. It was October. School started a month earlier. It was October or maybe even the end of September. I just felt like I needed to run for my first year class representative. Um, so I did. I think I was the only one to do it. And I got that role. I was able to serve my peers and it was an amazing experience. Um, the next year came around and at, during elections, no one was running for SGA president. It was a role that um, required a lot of work and a lot of um, tenacity. And I just felt like I was, that was me. Um, I really just uh, kind of talked to my wife. She felt like I needed to do it. I, I felt like I needed to do it. Did a little, little little bit of praying and thinking and pondering, but really I just knew inside that that's what I needed to do. And so I, I put my hat in the ring and um, had the amazing opportunity to serve my school community for that year. It was during, it was right after, um, sorry, that happened right after COVID hit um, in 2020. Um I was SJ president from 2020 to 2021. It was it was hard. There's a lot of things, moving pieces, uncertainty, but there was opportunity, still opportunity, and I love that. And now that I'm practicing, I'm thinking of uh, reflecting on alacrity, what that means, and I I think for more and more, it's just this cheerful willingness and readiness to embrace the unknown 
as an entrepreneur, there's so much unknown. There's so much that I don't know. I'm figuring it out. Um, I, I'm presented with opportunities. Uh, and I wisely just think through it. Um, if it's not the right one, I, I decline it. But um, if it's an, if it's a good opportunity, I embrace it and I run with it and I go with it. And it's it's amazing. And I learn from it. I grow from it. And I think that's the biggest thing that I try to, well, I, yeah, I try to embrace that and value that as much as I can. Starting a practice or even joining a practice, independent contractor, um, you're joining a practice, whether you're doing research, um, you still need that alacrity, that willingness to embrace the unknown, cheerfulness to keep going and, and face the future with faith and hope and excitement because the future I think is really bright. There are ups and downs and I've certainly felt my share of downs, um, disappointment, discouragement, just that comes in the ups and downs of life of starting a business. I think it magnifies those ups and downs, but being willing to get out, outside of myself and share and learn, um, experience and grow. I think it's all been worth it. It's all been amazing. And I'm excited to be on this journey. I'm excited to continue to practice alacrity. I'm glad that Dr. Schleich taught me about that. And I hope that I can continue to um, embody that in all that I do. Um, that cheerful willingness and readiness to do amazing things. I know that that's what I'm here for. I know that if you're watching this, you're probably in the same boat that I was or maybe am. Um, in school, thinking about your future, there's there's great things ahead. Uh, and with that alacrity, we can do anything. It's awesome. And have fun doing it. You're going to be amazing. Have a great day.